Okay guys, so there has been an absolutely huge firmware update for the DJI Mini 3 Pro that I'm going to review on this video and show exactly what has been updated and this is something loads of you are going to be incredibly excited for and something that people have been wanting since the DJI Mini 3 actually came out and actually before that. Now this video update is just on the DJI Mini 3 Pro firmware update to show you the differences and what has actually been added. There's also been a DJI flight app update to 1.9.8 uh, which will be posted in a completely separate video and of course I will link to that video at the end of this one so you can go ahead and watch it from there. So this is DJI Mini 3 Pro firmware update version 010005 and it comes with a couple of really nice tasty features we have got the added reset all settings and clear all data options but I'm going to go to that in a bit more detail shortly but most importantly guys this is the absolute huge one the added gain and expert tuning and this now allows us to set the maximum flight speed brake sensitivity and other settings can now be adjusted in the different flight modes and of course as I already mentioned it requires DJI Fly 1.9.8 or later so all we're going to quickly do is install that skip that straight to the end um, obviously you're going to need an internet connection to do that and this firmware update is available both using the RCM1 controller and a mobile phone or of course the DJI RC controller as well and please do make sure that you do have an internet connection for that to actually update now if you do go to the about tab down at the bottom we have got these two new settings we have got reset all settings and clear all data if we just go ahead and click on the clear all data you can see what this actually does is delete the data in the aircraft internal storage and SD card so be very very careful if you do that if you've got any footage you do not want to lose it's going to delete all the aircraft logs unlocking licenses and other data stored on the aircraft we also have the other option as well to delete and reset all settings but because I'm going to be doing a test flight I'm going to show you that right at the end of the video because of course I don't want to clear all of my settings right now and um, because I'm going to be going for a flight like I've just mentioned so that seems incredibly silly um, however of course going through all the other menus as it will be covered in the DJI flight app 1.9.8 updates uh, there is no additional new features other than the ones I'm going to show you but the big one here guys is of course the gain and expo tuning this is absolutely huge and as you can see it is available in sport normal and cine mode and what we can now do which is absolutely fantastic is set the max horizontal speed and where this is really really cool is it doesn't matter how far you push that stick forward the drone is only going to go as fast as what we set in this setting we can also adjust the max ascent speed as well and we can also do the exact same for the max descent speed where of course we could not do that before but of course I'm pleased to say now we actually can and I think that is absolutely awesome and I cannot wait uh, to do that we can also check out the brake sensitivity as well uh, which of course again uh, just like we can for the um, rotation and gimbal smoothness so when we do let go of the sticks how long the drone actually keeps moving whether it comes to a slow halt or a sharp brake we can also adjust that as well but I'm going to show you all of that in the quick demonstration so let's get the drone up in the air and let's test all these things out right so let's get the drone up in the air and show you exactly what this is Take all off. about as you can the see I'm being brave has been today. We're flying Please out straight check it over on the water map. and hopefully that is going to focus in a second um, there we go it's now focused right so yeah I'm flying over water this would give many people kittens but not to worry um, I know what I'm doing and um, yeah you can see me more flying more over water in my uh, fly app update video so let's click the three dots in the corner let's click across to cine smooth mode let's flip the control into cine smooth mode and as you can see the max horizontal speed is currently six meters per second so in theory if we push forward on the sticks we will do up to six meters per second there we go what we're going to do click the three dots again and where we've got the max horizontal speed we're going to knock that straight down to let's say two and a half there we go so now when we push a stick forward there we go it is stuck at 2.4 2.5 um, and we're not going to go any faster that is absolutely fantastic or if you want to get some really cool smooth shots go right down to one okay and then what we can do is we can just do a, a nice smooth panning shot 
and the drone isn't going to go any faster than that one meter per second absolutely awesome and this is a mode that I know many of you have wanted for such a long time and yes I'm very close to the water here uh, but look look at that one meter per second no the drone has decided to rise one meter per second nice and slow absolutely lovely so what we'll do is we'll flip this into sport mode because of course we've already got quite a fast ascent and descent speed let's shoot up and you can see that goes pretty rapid and you can see we're getting five meters per second ascent speed i'll come back down get five meters per second again there we go so naturally if we click the three dots and all we need to do is adjust that to what we want There we go, and now if we go upwards, so much smoother. So what we're going to do is just quickly reset the current settings, and as you can see, they've all gone back to what they was. So let's just show you the brake sensitivity now, okay? Um, as it says, a higher value indicates a shorter braking distance of the aircraft after releasing the pitch stick. The range extends from 10 to 150. So let's show the examples then. Brake sensitivity is set all the way to 150. So let's head forward. And we'll let go of the stick. There you go. So let's set that all the way to 10 which should give the biggest braking distance. So let's get up to speed. Let's let go of the stick. There you go. That comes to a much smoother stop. And as I've already mentioned, you can adjust all these values for sport, normal and cine. Uh, so obviously you can set it as your preference, along with, of course, the yaw smoothness, uh, the max angular velocity, yeah, which is obviously always so cool um, and you can also uh, obviously adjust your gimbal control speed and smoothness as well so all the tools to get you some really really cool cinematic footage um, which of course I think is just so much cooler um, and finally DJI have brought this so like I mentioned at the beginning of the video we're going to take a quick look at the reset or settings option in the menu so let's click the three dots go click to about okay now because the aircraft is actually in flight if we go to reset or settings hit the reset button it does specifically say we need to land the aircraft to be able to do that so let's go ahead and just land the aircraft then so now with the aircraft on the ground if we just take a quick look under our safety tab you can see the settings we already have set look in our control and camera okay those are what we already have if we click back to the about reset all settings click that reset Reset successful, aircraft will restart soon. It is actually restarting, so it should give that a quick moment. There we go, we're all back on. The home click point has dots, been updated. Please check it on the map. See, those values have all changed back to the original. Okay, um, that's our safety tabs really. Uh, the camera settings have also changed as you can see there as well. So guys, that does wrap up this video uh, and the review of the DJI Mini 3 Pro um, firmware updates. If you did like this video, of course, please do give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe for more content just like this. And until next time, see you again soon.